Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into my channel. If you hear Christmas music in the background, we are in the Christmas spirit here in the Ennis household. But I have been dying to do this video. Like you guys know when I did a flip through of this planner, I said I could not wait until 2018 to start using this planner. And so this video is gonna show you how I set it up. I filled out a couple of pages so you can get a feel of how I'm using it. And um, I'm gonna go through and show you everything. If you wanna see the initial flip through of this, I will link it down below. I also have a coupon code if you wanna buy this planner. There is still time to buy this planner because we are not at the end of 2017 just yet. But yes, this was sent to me for free, but all my opinions are my own. Um, I was not paid to do a video or, at all, but this planner I decided to use as like my life catch-all planner because I love the way it's set up. So let's get started. I just, I love the rose gold, y'all, I love it. So, you know, you get this pocket right here and I am gonna be sticking this budget notebook right there and I am gonna do a separate video on this because I've already started using it and I wanna give you ideas on how you can use it. So anyway, you do get the pocket with the stickers. I have not used the stickers yet. I'm just waiting for the time when I can use them. So, you know, the first page right here, let's zoom in. Um, you know, this planner belongs to, I haven't put my name in here yet. I might just do some alpha letters. That way I don't have to write or anything. Um, this right here says my 2018 inspiration board. I just put my goals for everything that I want to accomplish in 2018. My thing is your goals can be big or small. As long as it's something you want to do and something you want to accomplish, that's big enough. And so I just put down things right here and I still have enough room to write. Um, but yeah, that's just my goals that I can go back to and look at and then check them off when I'm done. And so this page, let's go to the next page. Now, I forgot, you know, I didn't say this in the original video, but these perforated ed edges, you just tear them off so you know what page you're on since there is no bookmark. And I thought that was a pretty good, subtle idea that she did. And right here, this says important contacts and favorite meal ideas. I have used this page for things that need to be cleaned not on a daily basis, like the microwave, the oven, the coffee maker, the shower door, burner grates, washing machine, the blinds, the fridge, and the dishwasher. Now the shower door would be clean like every other day. But these are things that I need to remember to check on. Because I know a lot of us will forget about our ovens. You know, we'll forget about, you know, the washing machine. Even though it's a washing machine, it still needs to be cleaned. So I just put these down so I can remember, oh, okay, it's been a month. And so I'll essentially write it in my planner like one day each month to clean whatever product. And so I just put this happy planner sticker over this to cover it up and it matches the planner. This one says favorite meal ideas. I haven't filled this out yet, but I probably will use it for meal ideas, um, especially for dinners. We have favorites in this family that we really, really love. So I love that this was added. And so let's get into, these are the planning over, overview. And I just wrote, wrote down things that are happening for each month. Most of it is birthdays, but January, we're closing on our house. I'm so excited. And um, my husband's holiday party is uh, in January. So I still have enough um, space where I can't write a lot of things that are going in here, but I love this page, very simple. So that's what I've been using that for. And then you just get your yearly overview for 2018, 2019. You get all of the holidays, which are already pre-printed on the plant on each month, which I love. And so this is the monthly view. Um, I haven't wrote anything in here for work because I will not be doing any filming for um, January. I will be promoting my YouTube channel still, but as far as filming, I won't be doing anything because I am packing up my camera and my lights at the end of this month so I can start packing everything else, so no videos. But um, these stickers are from the Daydreamer, I mean the Glam Girl um, sticker book from Happy Planner and they just fit very nicely. It looks like it was made for this. And this one is the Daydreamer and then I just use these. I don't remember what sticker pack these are from, but they fit perfectly right here and it's just home to do and work to do. And it has lines on here, I love it. So I have enough space to write down a few more things. Now this is the dashboard, which is the one thing that let me know I was going to use this planner as my life planner. And it says word of the month that I just put believe. I think believe is a good word for the month of January with all the good things that are happening for me and my family. Um, this one says what creates happiness in your life. I will not be using this, these bubbles for that. I'm gonna be using it as the same thing I use in my Inkwell Press. My Instagram followers at the end, the beginning and the end, YouTube, Etsy sales, and then my weight, and this one is just blank. 
and, um, because I like to, since it's my life planner, my catch-all, I do put work in this planner. So I want to be able to keep track of it in this planner. And I love this. Say no to distractions and negativity. What are you not going to do this month? Love, love, love that. And I said engage in negativity and stress about things I cannot control. I've been doing pretty good at not stressing over things that I have no control over because there's no point. <laughs> and so over here... Um, this is from the Daydreamer sticker book and it fit perfectly in there and this is everything for the month and routines and habits I put things that I want to do for the month my personal goals and what I will do is just check these off once the month is over and it has special dates down here I just put closing holiday party and my monthly bucket list which is work out for five days take meds daily meditate self-care no clutter so I love this because you can essentially use it for anything um, so this is January all filled out. I love how it turned out. And these are, you get these before every single month. Um, notes, you get a divided over here. And so I just put down things I need to do for the month of January, like call movers and purge and pack. And um, this is calling our rental company for the moving, like 30 days notice, clean the oven, pack up. And so I just wrote down a list of to-dos. And what I will essentially be using this these pages for is just a um, master to-do list for um, that month. So when I get to like the middle of January and I'm like, okay, February's coming up, what do I need to do? I'll just write down on February things that need to happen. That way when I get to planning, I already have the list. So as I, as I go through the month, I will think of things that need to be done. So you get a lot of space right here. Like I'm not even halfway through all this space. And so we get to the weekly and this is the first week of January. And um, let's zoom in some more. I'll go right here. Let's turn this. Well, I'll show you like this. Um, you have your monthly word, and these are notes, and these are just things that I filled out that, are, that need to happen. And I love that the notes side is right at the top. So it's the first thing I look at when I open this planner. Um, I don't like when note, like your notes are at the bottom because you don't, your eyes don't gravitate towards the bottom of the page when you look at something. It's usually the top. And so this is the first week and you do have these time um, stamps right here. Um, I will not be using all of these for times, uh, only if there's an appointment. But this first week of January, my kids are out of school, they're gonna go back until the 8th, so I didn't need to write anything for time. But I did write out everything that is going to happen for the first week of January, like workout, med, self-care. I just put that every single day. And do today are just things I need to promote, like my, um, the company I um, promote for Mrs. Ro Miss Rosie, and so I just put that. And there is the dinner right there, so I probably will put dinner as I put everything in here. So well, since I'm tracking my food, I can put what I ate that day. And then over here is the same thing. And this sticker is from the Daydreamer sticker pack from Happy Planner, which fit perfectly in there. And I love that the weekends are not split. And so I do want to go to the next page to show you how it looks if you know when my kids go to school. And so I fill out the second page. I guess as you can see, there's a lot more writing. Um, I just put 6 o'clock, Haley up, workout. While she's getting ready, I work out. 7, Alyssa up, and I put that Haley gets out early. And I still have room to put everything else. Now, once I start putting work in here, which will be February and whatnot. Let's go to February, where the blank page is. Um, you know, I would put down work things right here, and then I would probably take like half of this for work. Just say like, oh, look in Trendsetter or look in Home Planner. What I plan on doing with this planner, it's going to be strictly pen to paper. I'm not going to really decorate it that much. I, or the reason why I put that sticker is just to show, just to see how it would work, and it worked pretty well. But majority of this planner is going to be pen to paper because I want it to just be a tool. I don't really want to get into decorations. I have my trendsetter for that. I have my inkwell press um, that I'll be using as a fitness planner, which you guys will see um, or have seen already by the time you see this video. But... Um, the way this is set up and me just writing in here, I know this is going to be a great planner for me just to get things done. It's set, if you're a bullet journaler, bullet journaler, if that's a word, um, this is a great planner to use because everything is set up for you and it's just pen to paper. So I really, really do like this. But yeah, I just wanted to come on and show you how I set this up. Um, once I do like an entire month, I will come back in February and do a review and say how it's working for me. As of now, since I'm currently not really using it, um, so once I use it and see how it works, I will come back in Feb I mean in February and show you how it's working. But um, I did in the initial flip, I did go to the back and you get um, a few note pages back here. So you can always 
use this for more space if you need to. So if there's like, you know, we want to do a little bit of memory keeping for each month, you can. And so I probably will do that. But in, anyway, I just want to come on and show you really quick. Let's, let's close this. How I set up this planner. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, do that. And until next time, you all take care. Bye.